What do we say? Thank you all for having us. Make both guys good morning this is 7 a.m in the morning and it's day what day six okay i hope you're not tired of my ghana vlog because today i'll be going to lake volta and i can't wait to see how that place is and of course i'll be sharing with you guys let's go i'm going to take true true enough of taxi and spending money on Twitter so spending money on taxi so today let's get to the bus station and find our way to Lake Volta found a bus going to La Paz <laughs> oh my god Guys, this is three hours plus, and we are still on the road. We have not gotten to our destination. I'm honestly tired. If I had known this would take this long, I would have relaxed because we are traveling back tomorrow and I'm going by road. It's going to be a long journey back home. And yeah, I'm already frustrated. We haven't gotten to our destination yet after three hours plus. God knows how long it's left till we get to the water. And the road is not even good. God. <sighs> We're taking a taxi to Lake Volta right now. They said it's actually different. There are different voters depending on on which one we are going to. But we just want to do the boat cruise. So yeah, we are heading there now. I'm not smiling yet, but. Sapo. So yeah. today is Sapo's village market Sapo's day. So market day. people from all over Africa, the place, Accra, Medina, they are coming here yeah. to buy some food stuff and return back. Cassava, plantain. Oh wow! Well. So it's cheaper. Yes, you will get it yet. So yeah. Last, last, I think it's actually worth it, even though we are going to settle for just the boat cruise. But yeah, we paid and we want to get our
and thank you for having us, Lake Bosa. And that is the end of our boat cruise. Lake Volta is beautiful. At the end of the day, the stress, everything was worth it. I enjoyed the ride with Captain Na. See you guys. Now we have to find our way to the bus station that will take us to Accra. Tomorrow we leave Ghana. <laughs> I don't want to go. Ghana is so beautiful, guys. <sighs> but these seven days, it was worth it. I'm glad I spent the seven days in Ghana. Ghana, thank you for having me. I enjoyed my stay. On our way home, back to Accra. We are looking all beautiful and happy when we left the house. Dog the dog is, dog this is what stress looks like. Dog 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 the dust on the road. Was it was too much. Dog 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 anyway, we followed the dog 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 Finally, we are back home. Like, if you look at me now, you will see how exhausted and stressed I am. This journey was the longest. Yeah. <laughs> I lost my one earring on the way. Like, Jesus Christ, a journey that we saw on the line for about one hour, 45 minutes, ended up being like more than three hours. And the stress was too much. And yeah yeah i'm going to be telling you guys 10 interesting facts about ghana and yeah that is all i can say within this seven days um vacation or should i call it a vacation because i didn't come to rest i've been touring since the very first day we landed so yeah i'm going to tell you guys the 10 interesting facts about ghana that i learned <laughs> we're going to the lounge bar to chill drink and you know enjoy our night for the last time before we leave tomorrow so yeah see my mates behind me <laughs> 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 